Hello, today we are going to solve the question number 4 from ISS 2019 paper 2. Here we are given that let y1, y2, y3 and y4 be uncorrelated observations and it is also given that expectation of y1 is equal to expectation of y2 which is equal to beta1 plus beta2 plus beta3 and expectation of y3 is equal to expectation of y4 which is equal to beta1 minus beta2. And variance of yi is equal to sigma score uh, sigma square for all i 1 to 4 and we are to define e1 which is equals to 1 by root 2 y1 minus y2 and e2 which is 1 by root 2 y3 minus y4 then an unbiased estimator of sigma square will be which of this given option we need to find so let's see Let the unbiased estimator of sigma square is y hat. Therefore, we can write expectation of y hat is equals to sigma square by the definition of unbiased estimator. Okay. Now, y hat must be one of these four options. So let's check the first option, which is half multiplied by E1 square minus E2 square. Okay. Therefore, expectation of half E1 square minus E2 square if expectation of this term results in sigma square, then our correct option will be the option A. So let's check. Therefore, half expectation of E1 square minus expectation of E2 square. Now, expectation of E1 square can be written as variance of E1 plus expectation square E1 minus variance of E2 minus expectation square E2. Now, variance of E1 is half, variance of E1 means half variance of Y1 plus variance of Y2 variance of y1 plus variance of y2. Now variance of y1 and also variance of y2 is equals to sigma square therefore 2 sigma square divided by 2 which is sigma square. Now variance of y2 means half variance of y3 plus variance of y4 variance of y3 plus variance of y4 now it is also results in sigma square okay and expectation of e1 is equals to 1 by root 2 variance uh, expectation of y1 expectation of y1 minus expectation of y2 okay now expectation of y1 means beta1 plus beta2 plus beta3 and expectation of y2 is also beta1 plus beta2 plus beta3 therefore it results in 0 so expectation of e1 is equals to 0 and expectation of e2 is 1 by root 2 expectation of y3 minus expectation of y4 therefore it also results in 0 as expectation of y3 and expectation of y4 is equal okay therefore we can write half variance of y i's are sigma square therefore they cancels out and expectation of e1 
is equals to 0 and expectation of e2 is equals to 0 therefore their square will also be 0 so the total result will be 0 so as we can see that expectation of half of e1 square minus e2 square will not result in sigma square therefore the option a is not correct now let's check the next option that is option b okay option b option b is half of e1 square plus e2 square half of e1 square plus e2 square therefore expectation of half of e1 square plus e2 square is equals to half of expectation of e1 square plus expectation of e2 square now expectation of e1 square means variance of e1 plus expectation squared e1 and plus variance of e2 plus expectation squared e2 and variance of e1 already results in sigma square okay and expectation of e1 is 0 variance of e2 is also sigma square and expectation of e2 is also 0 so it results in sigma square therefore we can say that therefore we can say that half of e1 square plus e2 square is an unbiased estimator of sigma square so option b is the correct one as it is a mcq type question therefore only one option is correct so we uh, we there is no need to check the last two option so we can write that b is the correct option So that's all for today. Thank you very much.